Hi Bessie, welcome back to this of fashion. Hope you're familiar with it. So this episode is going to give us how to cut this lovely you and Buba African dress. So I'll make use of this lustre lace fabric to cut it out. The first thing I'm going to cut out here is the EO. So normally EO is um two yards and fifteen inches, but the owner of this EO is using fifty one inches hip for hip measurement so that means we have to add to the uh, 11 inches so i'll now make it two yards and 15 inches so by the time we take the two edges is going to be okay for the owner you know that means the person with big uh hip is going to be using two yards and 15 inches and smaller hip like 40 42 38 can use two yards and that 15 inches so we're having this fabric for the belt. This is what I'm going to use for the belt, just to make it firm when you are tying the heel. So, to take out the measurement, I'm going to take two yard and uh, 15 inches. Now, this is the first 36, as you can see. Then I'm going to take the second 36, then the 15, then the 15 inches that we're adding to the two yards. To so make it two yard. 15 inches you can see the second one then this now is going to give us the 15 inches as you can see we are done with the ego just have to keep this aside and cut the um, the top so we are done with the ego because there is nothing ego just for you to tape the two sides and add your belt to it this is what we are going to use for the um, for the top this is the fabric. I'll be folding this into four now in such a way that the shoulder is going to be in full since we are not going to stitch the shoulder. So most of our fashion designer doesn't know how to cut you and brothers and bringing this to your few. So I'll be folding this out now that I'm going to show you the edge that is going to fall to the, to the shoulder. The first thing you're going to do is to take the length. The length is 20, um, 26 inches with the seam allowance. So in this method now, you have to take the 26 inches twice that means 26 inches for the front 26 inches for the back because that is how you are going to get the shoulder to be closed now that you're going to take out the 26 inches that you now try to be folded it into for no that 22 inches is going to be into two places then you now fold it out like this the wideness of this now the wideness of the top that i'm folding out here is 55 because the initial bust measurement is 48 where we added seven inches to it just to give us that freeness of the bubba you understand then now start the measurement from the shoulder here then i took um 11.5 for the wideness of the sleeve because the round sleeve for this particular person is 10 that's 20 you understand then i now use 11 and a half i don't want it to be too tight and i don't want it to be too free whether that's i didn't have much allowance then i notch the center here you have to notch the center at the shoulder there then i notch where i'm coming to where my 11.5 inches reach yes i'm also notching this part you can see then the full length of the dress those are the two things we are going to do here but before we go we are still going to um, take our neckline the neckline so the neckline here usually be like a one neckline you understand both the back and the front they are the same thing and we didn't want our shoulder to be too wide that means at the shoulder we have to do something when the deepness is 5.5 inches the shoulder is going to be 4.5 and the middle is going to be 5 inches so we not connect everything together to get the oneness of the neckline so here is what i'm trying to tell you i'm going to take 4.5 inches here you can see this is my 4.5 inches then the deepness of the neck is going to be 5.5 here then here is going to it can be at the middle it can be here is going to be five then we now connect everything together so this is after the connection you can see the deepness you can see the wideness of the shoulder and you can see the middle here so the nice thing now is just to cut out the shape
so here is after cutting it out the next thing to cut out here is the sleeve but before you can cut out the sleeve you have to know the length of the sleeve you know this is cut together with the sleeve already they were still going to join sleeve to it just to make it longer so this is what we are going to do we folded out 14 inches 14 inches is four places is going to be for 56 inches normally our what we needed is 55 inches i said earlier but one inch is going for the same allowance so this is 56 inches so the 14 inches now is what we are going to work on no 14 inches is from the center of the back and front so and i took the measurement from the center here to where she wants her sleeve to reach and it is on um, 23 inches and we've already have uh, 14 inches then the next thing, the next measurement we're going to have to it should be nine inches so nine inches plus 14 inches is going to be 23 inches so what we're going to fold out here is going to be nine inches in length then the wideness is going to be 11.5 inches what we took on our booba so let me fold it out you can see this is into four for both sleeves you can see and the wideness of what i'm folding here is 11.5 inches that the same thing as where we notch had the booba so now you mean for us to take the length this is nine inches but i'm adding one inch to just be on the silver side so i'm taking 10 inches so now this is 10 inches i'm taking 10 inches this is 10 inches after taking them i will now connect everything together after the connection i will can now cut it out So here's the sleeve. You have to notch the center of the sleeve as well. Just to you know we're going to divide this into two. Is how I folded it and make it a straight one. Then we have to divide it into two. You know, it's for both sleeves. Then after the division, you have to notch the center as well. The center at which is going to be at the shoulder. And here is it. Then I'm going to notch it out. We are done with the cutting. The next thing is to go and join everything together. Welcome back here. The finished work so far. This is the top, the back top, and here is the heel. You can see how beautiful this is. You can see the neck is not too wide, even though the owner of this dress is uh, bigger than the mannequin. If you're watching for, for the first time, what are you waiting for? Just have to subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials. And for those who have already subscribed, I really appreciate you guys for watching my video. Always see my next video. Bye.